Hey guys, oh my God, like I have not done a video in forever, I know. Um, I have been moving and you guys know I was supposed to do one last week, but um, uh, what happened? Something happened, what happened? You guys know, I told you, I forgot. I forgot. Um, okay, so I don't know what I'm doing today. I just feel like I wanna sit here and talk with you guys and chat and be like, what's new? You guys know I moved. Um, and I don't know, like, what, I have like, no list for you. I just have like, I, I just don't, um, I'm like literally standing on my stairs right now and I will kind of show you guys like what the problem. So I have like nowhere to sit right now because everything's a, a complete mess and there's like construction going on. Um, okay. So maybe I'll just like kind of just talk to you about what's going on. Just be like, what's going on? Like we haven't spoken. Um, okay. So, am I making you dizzy? Should I put this down? Okay. Um, so, I moved into a new place. And you guys have known that if you weren't, if you haven't been blocked yet. I'm going to just put you down here on this little ledge. Hopefully, it will be, it will work. Okay. And, um, I know I'm kind of like really extra today. But <laughs> I like, think it's cute too. Okay. Um, I'm being so cute. All right. So, I moved in to a new house. You guys know that Brentwood Exodus. I'm not getting into that because it makes me so mad um, that it just caught, it got to that point where I just was like, I snapped and I was like, that's it. Like I'm done. And a lot of people are like, I can't believe you actually moved. Like, yes, bitch. What do you think? Do you think that I would just like say something? I can't stand that. Like I can't stand people that actually like try to actually gonna do something and don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't do that. I hate that. It bothers the fuck out of me. Um, but so anyway, um, I moved and I'm going to be commuting. So you guys know my office is still in downtown. I've had my office in downtown since like, oh, basically not day, not day one, but since like very early on. And, um, I, I, uh, downtown is getting really bad. Like downtown is getting really bad. So never say never, but I still love my office. I still do like love to you know, be downtown with my office. It's just, it's very like something I built, you know what I mean? And I, I just love it. So I'm still gonna be commuting. So I'll probably be commuting just like three days a week or something. I'll be working home from the other two days. Um, just, I don't know. That's just the kind of the plan right now. But um, I'm getting closer so you guys can see me. I feel like, I don't like when there's like too much space. That's like, we are talking here. Um, so what was I gonna say? Sorry. Like, this is what happens when I don't really have a plan to talk to you guys about anything, but I have a lot to say. So, yeah. All right. So this house. Let's talk about the house. The house. Um, sorry. I know. I don't wear a bra. Um, the house. You guys know I was like when I was house hunting. I love old houses. I love like the charm of older houses. Um, where I moved, there's not like older houses. Plus, you know, I lived in an older house and know the, the problems of an older house. And if you don't have you know, a lot of time and a lot of time basically and money, you know, like a lot because it's become, it can become like a problem, you know, to like run an older house properly, always something going on. Anyway, not the point. The point is that I was, when I was looking for houses here, a lot of the houses are like new. And when I say new, it's like within the past, like the last five to 10 years, I like, hate, I was getting so discouraged. I hate new houses. I don't know what it is. I don't like the new houses. I feel like you walk into a new house. It's so cookie cutter. It's like they're positioned so poorly. It's like you, I'm okay. This is what I can't stand. You guys know, like I cannot have a neighbor. Like I cannot have to like talk, speak to someone in the morning. Like I grew up in a house where you like legitimately, or you open your garage and like your whole neighborhood is there. Like it is, brings me so much anxiety. Like I, by the way, I, I'm not talking about the mess in my kitchen because okay, we will talk about that later. I cannot like even stomach the idea of like opening up. Like, it, it, it is like, it is so much anxiety to me to like, to have to do that, to open your garage. Good morning. Hi. Like, I have to do like the small talk. Like, like, hi. Cause I'm not just like, I can't just be, oh, I can't just be like, hi. Or like, or I can't just like not say anything. I have to like be extra. I have to just, it's so much. I have like, hi, hi, hi. I have to just do it every time. And, just the thought of it, like, I can't do it. Like, I just need to be left alone in my own misery. Like, I need to be alone. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, to be honest, too, people ruin my vibe. Like, I don't want to know about my neighbors because I'm 
sure this is bronzer okay i know you need your shit seen on your hands like i have to protect myself whenever i can because i know what you're going to say to me just stop stop so um i don't want to know about my neighbors i know for sure any neighbor i have is going to kill my vibe like i know it and then i'll be like oh my god this place is like a fucking joke like i cannot be vibe checking someone every five seconds like i just need to be left alone in my own chaos and my own my own misery you know what i mean just leave just leave me alone in in my world you know oh my god you guys all right so i grew up in orange county right i grew up here i went to school here like i i, I remember okay wait, we know i don't have like a flat stomach i don't even care like shut the fuck up i'm fat i don't care um okay actually i have a flat ass i have a flat stomach okay but i don't work out because i hate working out we know that we don't have to talk about it i hate working i hate physical activity I would rather not eat than work out. So shut up. Like, I don't need to hear you right now. So annoying. Like, people are so, they want to like, give it a break. Anyway, um, so can I tell you guys something is so annoying? Okay. I forgot what it's like to live in Orange County. Like, it's so, people need to be vibe checked so bad here. I just don't have the energy because, like, no one, no one vibe checks here. Like, that's what's good about LA. I like people in, like, LA are kind of, like, more vibey. But I'm exhausted. Like, LA is like done. Like LA is over. LA's vibe is so grotesque. Like I want nothing to do with LA anymore. Um, but so now here it's like better because whatever. Okay, what I'm getting that I should get something that I witnessed. I forgot about this, and it's very rare that you see this in LA. It's not like so often, but it's like kind of uh, okay. Here it's just like on another level. What the fuck is with the Rudolph cars? You guys, what? the fuck is with the rudolph cars okay <laughs> why okay i want to know i want to know where you go i want to know where the person's head was when they bring out their car and it's december and they go and put the fucking antlers out of the windows and the big red nose on the front of the grill like i was i am so what's the word like secondhand embarrassed for them I, on, honest to God, do you not, you look like a goddamn bozo. You look like Bozo the Clown driving around with a big red nose. Bitch, don't even start to tell me I'm the Grinch. Don't tell me I'm the Grinch. Don't tell me that, okay, and I already know what people are gonna do. Oh my God, Alex, if you had, the kids love it, kids love it. Like, if you had a kid, you would do it for your kid. Oh. I would never in five million years if fucking little Sally told me to put a red nose reindeer on my car, make my car, turn my car into a bozo car, I would vibe check that little girl so quickly. Like she wouldn't even know. My child would never suggest that because it's embarrassing. Like, by the way, okay, so what happened yesterday when I was like, driving into work, okay? And I was like still in Orange County. Um, and this fucking red, red, red nose reindeer bozo car cut me the fuck off me off like it was on like the deal it wasn't coming up she was like trying to no one ever cuts me off okay she was she was like trying to get over when bitch i had already gotten over first you are not gonna get in front of me the red nose ranger was trying to fucking get in front of my car like this is why i don't get do you not realize you have a red nose reindeer on your like your, your car is rudolph like why are you trying to even even draw more attention to yourself i am so embarrassed i was so cringing like the fucking rudolph cars i don't understand it I don't understand what, how the person got from seeing those costumes at the, what, I don't, where do you even get that? Like, oh my God, you spent money to make yourself look like, 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 I don't even know what the word is. Why do you do that? I, I can't, like, I can't with the Rudolph cars. I say, I think I've said it before, but it really, I'm so embarrassed and no, it is my business because I have to see it, okay? So don't tell me to mind my own business. I'm allowed to have a fucking opinion on stuff, okay? People like always do that. Like, why do you care? Because I fucking care because it actually kills my vibe. Like I don't want to see it. This place, like this is the problem with this. Like this place needs to be vibe checked. That's the problem is like, and it's just too much for me to handle. So I just, I can't believe the Rudolph cars. Like I really can't believe the Rudolph cars. It's really like something to where like, I just want to ask someone like, why, I really want to interview someone. Be like, wait, why, do you, why did you do that? Like, wait, why, like, why did you think that was like cute? Like, what, 
you know you, you people like when you look you 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 look so dumb like you look so dumb driving around with a big red nose bo bozo bozo nose on the front of your car don't tell me your kids like it don't okay don't please don't your kid your kids oh your kids fucking rule your life like please please okay um so that was the rudolph car oh my god so that really fucking pissed me off anyway my um my nose is running now um this is like swiffer you guys i can't unpack my kitchen because um because like the kitchen's gonna be done after the, the so anyway i'm okay <laughs> All right, let me get on and tell you something. So the construction I showed you here. So we're going to go back to the um, house. So this house was built in the 90s, which I really love. I love like 90s. I love 70s. Not really 80s. I guess like sometimes. But um, so I, anyway, the, this, this is like the living room. Dude, I don't even know. This house is just like a bigger, <laughs> big house. It's, I'm not used to it. I've always lived in like an apartment or I've lived in like uh, my house that I lived in in Brentwood was literally barely two bedrooms. You know what I mean? It was like 1200 square feet. I don't even know. It was small as shit. So, um, this is a big change for me. I have like rooms to decorate. I, I like, I don't, I'm like, I'm completely like overwhelmed. I, it's hard because choosing, oh my God, can I show you guys these candles? I got, okay. Are these like so cute? Like how, look at how cute. Jesus and Mary's like faces are. I feel like they're just so cute. I love them. Okay, I got three of those. I'm not even Catholic, but you know, I love like, Christ I love, like, I'm Christian. I'm Greek Orthodox. Um, but so anything religious, yes, I love. Okay, anyway. Um, I do not discriminate against religions. Okay. So, um, what was I going to say? How? Because I'm on tangents back. So, um, the bed, the room right here. This room is the living room. I don't even know. Like to me, it's just weird having an actual house because it's like I don't know what I'm doing here. I wake up and I, don't, I feel like I'm like not in my house. <laughs> like I'm like wait, wait, where? Was it, what am I doing here? What am I leaving? I don't know. It's a really weird feeling. I I feel like not non deservant. Um, what was I gonna say? That room. Sorry, I'm on tangent again. That room, okay, living room. It, okay, because the 90s, it was like a house from the 90s. Um, the previous owners, they like didn't do anything to the house. They kind of like moved in and lived here for like, I think like 10 years, but like didn't change anything, didn't do anything. I, they, this room has a wall and the wall had like cutouts in it, you know, and one of them cutouts was on the floor and it was made for like a, like a very big box TV from like the 90s. So I'm sure these people didn't have a box TV. So what, I don't know what they did with that giant cutout. I was on the floor. It's like ridiculous. Like people, like you, like you lived here for 10 years and you didn't bring a, someone in to like fix that or to like make, I don't know. Like, how do you, it's a beautiful house. Like you don't need to take any consideration, but it's very weird to me. Anyway, so we are, we're, I'm getting that wall fixed. We're just basically like, carving it out and then putting in a cabinet at the bottom so we can put our TV up. Um, but it's not gonna be done yet until probably next week. So basically I'm like living in the bedroom, just like living in the master bedroom because there's a TV there at least. Um, I'm also waiting on more furniture. Do you want me to show you some furniture I got? So I did get um, chairs and tables, my new kitchen chairs and new kitchen table, but the table came broken. So they're sending another one which is annoying because I really wanted to be able to sit somewhere and eat, but you know, I guess I don't need to eat anyway. Okay, let me show you guys the chairs. And if you haven't been blocked on Instagram, you've already seen this, but all right, let me. Okay, let me see what I'm doing here. My hair looks like shit. Okay, so here is the chair. These are the chairs that I really, really love. And um, I was also talking on my Instagram about, this is the thing, like, about colors and like my and like colors and how I used to love like white so much. I mean, it had to be white, but that is gone now, right? Like no one likes white anymore. Is that true? Like no one likes white. I, I don't like white. It's like, there's this new color, like I said, that's in my head. Let me scoot forward. 
there's this new color that's in my head and um it's like this creamy someone like said like 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 um thrift store kind of white like a white thrift store-ish where like ye it yellows over time and yeah it's that but it's not it's like there's more of like a co dead corpse-ish like gray to it and i see a lot of like super modern like italian brand uh, italian design kitchens have this color but i think it's a little bit too too much for me too gray for or too color for me to do my my kitchen cabinets with and so i think i'm just gonna stick with like a creamy color i don't know i hope i can get it right it's just i do not want white anymore like i don't even everything had to be white before like i remember everything in my life like had to be white and now it's like everything i can't stand white it looks so cheap like for some reason in like oh in like three days white has become like the enemy of colors it has to be like a creamy thing i don't know anyway um so that i'm just really busy with like this kind of random shit and then work and just getting like settled um i have no bed like the bed okay so the bed that i had in my other house is like does not fit the vibe of this house like you put it in that bedroom master bedroom and it just looks like wait like this is not the right vibe it's gone so i put that in like the guest room so i don't have a bed i don't like the i need a new dresser like, i have nothing i'm sleeping on the floor i'm sleeping on a mattress on the floor and i don't want to just sleep on that bed until i find one because maybe i'll just get used to that and then i won't like like you know what i mean i, I don't want to just settle so i'm doing that um geez like I don't know what I'm even going with this, but so you guys know that I, I grew up here in California. So I, a lot of people were guessing I was gonna move out of state and I, I could never actually like move out of state. Like I was born and raised here in Southern California. I feel like if you, I was so like spoiled by the weather here, I, I could never live somewhere with like a weird climate. Like this is, you know what I mean? I, I just would be a fucking disaster all the time i'm sure i know there are equally as beautiful places to live than southern california but weather wise like i i can't i can't imagine so um i'm okay so i i was born and raised here and i went to school in irvine which is like the city over i'm living in newport coast which a lot of you guys probably already know i feel like i it's gonna like i, I don't need to like hide that at the same time it's like people probably start fucking gossiping anyway about it so Okay, get over it. Like, get the fuck over it. Why do you care where I live? Like, people are so fucking sick, man. You're sick. There's something wrong with you. Focus on your own goddamn life, you fucking stupid asshole, man. Like, why do you care where I live? Like, you want to go up in my... Do you, you want to, You're so far up my fucking vagina, it's sick. Like, get off of me. No. Okay? Like, so creepy that you care about the details of my life. You are sick. You need help leave me the fuck alone like weirdos out there man the weirdos give a fuck where someone lives like they, they actually like they spend the time to care it is so fucking bizarre like i the moment that i started looking up people where they live is the moment that i would understand there is something i have too much time on my goddamn hands too much time on my hands bitch too much time on my hands i am a fucking loser okay stop um so yeah like i could never leave i could never leave california like anyway so i went to school here so i'm very and i lived here remember do you remember when i lived in irvine when i first started hrh i moved out of finally able to move out of my parents house um so right after i graduated with my master's whatever then i moved okay you guys know so i love irvine i fucking love irvine because there's like a big Asian community, you know, I like that. I don't like to feel, it's not like that I'm like racist against white people. It's just like, I just don't like to feel like I live like in, look, you guys know when I lived in China, I just like fucking love that. I love different cultures. I love, like I eat everything up. Like my family from Greece, I, I have memories of like going, being in Greece with my family in the summers and just like, the vibe there, just the vibe of like Europe and like the vibe of like just living in China and just shit like, it's like, I don't want to live in like where everyone else is like the same as you. Like everyone drives a fucking BMW and everyone lives in the same neighborhood. And I just like go to the restaurants. Like I mean, everyone goes to the same like gym. Like no, like I hate it. Like leave me alone, get me out. Like 
leave me the fuck alone. I want to live, no. I will never be that. Like, I will never ever be this cookie cutter person. Like, it just, I can't, it, like, infuriates me. So, I was really excited to, like, kind of, like, go and, like, kind of get my surroundings again. I mean, I don't know. It's, Orange County is super, like, cookie cutter, but I do love Newport Coast because it's, like, kind of bougie and it's pretty and I love Irvine and it's close to, it's, like, the commute to my work office is, like, not so bad. It's, like, less, like, 45 minutes. The way I drive, bitch. <laughs> 40 minutes okay so um anyway yeah so that's kind of like what I'm doing right now I'm just like um kind of and I, I, I like things like I don't really want to tell you guys like the certain things I like but I will like like there's this market called wholesome choice and I remember going there when I was like in college and it's like this uh middle eastern I think brand or market and they have a lot of like greek things there and they have, okay, can I just show you guys what I love so much? I got so fat off of this, so I'm gonna show you anyway, okay. Okay, it's like my favorite thing in the fucking world, but it's really dangerous. Um, I'm just gonna have like, I'm just gonna have a bite with you because it's worth it. It's yogurt and shallots, and you can get it from the deli at Wholesome Choice. And I, I, the Wholesome Choice, it's weird because it's kind of like a dirty market. Like if you walk through the vegetable section, it like smells like the markets that in like when China where like the meat, and like the vegetables are kind of like all around each other. It's not like you're going into a pristine Ralph's, you know what I mean? And um, everything is just perfectly manicured. So I don't really like fuck around with like the meats there and shit, but they're deli with like the real, like, I feel like it's really good. And then you can get a lot of international foods there. And you guys know how I feel about international, just like shit, I really like it. So anyway, I know this, this is like um, lavash bread and I just look for the ones with the least calories to be honest even though it's not, there's ones that were really thick and plush looking, but they're like 500 calories for one piece. Like, fuck you. Okay, my favorite thing in the whole world is this bread with this, it's yogurt and shallots. Um, it is just so fucking good. My favorite thing in the world. So, also you guys, I'm back on my pickup six the back of my pickup sticks, you guys. I'm going to do a video on how to. I'm going to do a video on how to eat wonton soup. Like, I'm going to do the video. It is so important to me. I take it so seriously. Like, the diet coke from the, the large diet coke. You have to get a large diet coke from pickup sticks and their large wonton soup. It is such a fucking. It's such a ritual. Like, it is everything. It is like everything I like love about everything. I don't know what it is. It's like my favorite. So. I'm gonna do that because I'm back. Oh, I'm like, I have Diet Cokes to get. Like, I have drive throughs Like, there's no drive throughs in fucking LA. It's so stupid. There's no. Oh my God. It fucking echoes in here. I gotta be careful. Like, also, I'm deaf. Do you guys know that? I'm like, I'm actually completely deaf in my left ear. I was like, just born like that. And so I actually cannot hear. Like, if someone yells at me, because these are really high ceilings. If someone yells at me here, like, I cannot. Like, if someone talks to me, I can't hear in this house. Um, and then when I scream, there's like an echo, probably cause there's like no furniture in here yet. Maybe that's like the problem. So I'm kind of like an empty room. I don't know. Um, but I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Actually, before I go on with showing you guys other shit, I really want to talk about my thing I do every year, which is my HRH bougie stocking stuffers. So if you, you guys probably already know, if you haven't been blocked on Instagram, um, my bougie stocking stuffers are like ridiculously gorgeous pieces with like, and the quality is amazing. The prices are like stocking stuffer prices, but the items are not like stocking stuffer quality. And then after Christmas, they will either stay on my line and their prices will jump. Okay. Or they will just be taken off my line and then you can't get them again. So I have about 20 stocking stuffers, bougie stocking stuffers, I call them. And I'm just gonna go show you guys some of the stuff I'm wearing right now. Um, if you wanna see more, I did a little highlight on my Insta stories, or sorry, on my Instagram, so you can check it out. But I have really, really gorgeous stuff. I have the, um, these are so sick. These are all solid sterling silver, so you can wear them every day. This is my Marti iced, iced martini collection. There are four or five, I'm gonna get them to you. I'm gonna get them to show them to you guys, but these are my puffed chevalier rings there's a large and a small I love to wear them together like that I feel like they're so modern 
um, but so casual too. And then I have sterling silver uh, tennis bracelets. And then I have this piece. This one is, I feel like it's for guys and girls. It's called the boyfriend cross. And the cross also comes off of the Miami chain. So you can wear them um, separately as well. I love, you guys know I love more unisex things. And I know there's a bunch of boys out there. So I think you will definitely love this. It's really sick and it's a good length for everyone. And then of course the 70s hoops. I do my 70s hoop sets every year for you guys for bougie stocking stuffers and you love them. They are the coolest, most 1970s detailed pieces. There's three sets and they're sold like in pairs. So this would be, you'd get two of these or you'd get two of these, or you know what I mean? They're sold in pairs. Um, but there's like nine different designs to choose from in all, and I've made like three different looks for you, but you can mix and match them. Like this one actually is not a part of this collection, but I just like these three like that, just because why not? Um, so love them, but they're all super, super detailed. Like you can see like the quality and the detail of them are amazing and they're also gold filled. Let me go get the other rings though. I have to show you the rings that are ridiculous. I already talked about these, right? I can't remember. These are my Puff Chevaliers and I love them casual. I love them dressy and I love them together like that. Look at the detail on that. Then I have my iced martini collection and this is the Alex's Emerald. Did I talk about this already? I can't remember. Okay, because I did it yesterday too. This, look at the detail on this. It legitimately looks like the real thing, diamonds and platinum, but it's CZ and solid sterling, sterling silver. So you can wear them every day, that one. And then I have this princess, or sorry, cushion cut eternity band. So mega, so ridiculous. I also love to just wear these together like that. I love this on the pointer. You can wear this on your ring finger if you want like, a, you know, a um, an engagement ring if you're traveling or going somewhere, you know, people like to do that. Um, then I have my, let me take this off. I have my huge solitaire, which is about, it looks like a six, probably six carat solitaire to me. Just really simple, gorgeous. And you can wear these every day because they're sterling silver and the quality is just amazing. Okay, look at this one. This is a fantasy heart. Look at the setting on that. It, lit, it looks like the real thing. It's so gorgeous, the baguettes on the side and it's just it's just so perfect. So these, can you imagine just like, drinks. I like it. I like either. I like one statement ring with the eternity like that. Um, like sitting and drinking a martini with these or like smoking a cigar for me with these. like just such a vibe. Um, okay. Then I just want to show you guys just like a, some kind of state. I also have these. These are stacking rings. Really cute to stack. I think I have like five different colors and they're sterling silver with the most, the cutest little colored CZ crystals. I have like grape jelly. I have, um, I think cherry Coke color and then strawberry milkshake, diamond. So all different colors that you can stack and choose from, really fun. Okay, then I just wanna show you guys like a savings, like how what much of a savings you get. So this is my Orion chain. You guys love my Orion chain. It's been a chain that you, it's been in my line forever. It's 14K gold filled. And then um, I put on this gorgeous, crystal cross with really detailed baguettes and round crystals on it. So basically, I think it's even less to buy the, basically I think you're getting the cross for free and a little bit off of the chain, I, I don't remember, but the, the savings is ridiculous. And then the chain, oh sorry, the cross is also removable. This is one of the most sparkly chains in my line and there's different lengths as well. I also have a sterling silver and Chris and CZ um, cross, which is like, the most classic, gorgeous, just round, large round diamond cross ever. It's perfect, you can wear it every day. It looks like real diamonds and platinum and it sparkles like it too. I'm not joking, gorgeous, okay. And then, I know you guys love these so much. These are my Royal Barbie, let me switch them around, Royal Barbie necklaces. And it's your choice of the pink or the emerald. And they're so detailed. Look at the halo around. And then the bail is actually a little pear, a little tear. So they're really, really detailed, super gorgeous. And then they also come off of the chain, so you can wear them, the chains with or without. But I mean, so pretty, so wearable, such, it's just, they're gorgeous. Like, can you imagine just wearing one of those like that with something casual, something not casual? Just, I just love it. The green is so regal. So those. So don't miss out on this. You guys love my stocking stuffers every year. This is something that I plan for basically all year round, coming up with things, finding things that you guys are gonna love and the quality has to be like 
there. You know what I mean? These are solid. These are solid rings. Like they're not like flimsy or whatever. These are forever. You can have these in your collection forever. And the price is ridiculous. So, oh, and then I show you my tennis bracelets. I did. I have two different sizes. They're all sterling silver. And then they have the um, hidden cl closures too. So it's just like seamless. So classic. Like never have to take it off. So classic for so cheap. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you guys a mirror that I got. Um, I got the mirror from like a um, vintage dealer um, on Instagram, which you guys probably like already know, like a lot of people on Instagram like sell, resell. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys um, a mirror I got. I also think I might show you some of these cabinets because I know like I have to show you the vibe. Actually, I will just show you the cabinets now. Do I want to? I think I will, because I want to show you guys the inspiration. I'm kind of excited. I also want to show you a mirror. This room, the thing is that this is like the formal living. Formal living. This is like casual living. Okay, I don't see. I don't even know the fucking words. Um, so everything is just kind of stacked in there right now because of the construction they're doing in here. And I don't like to say construction. I like to say like editing because we're not like like we're not like tearing the house down. We're just like changing a wall so that we're like you can live like in modern day living. You know what I mean? Like I can't have like a big hole for a box TV, right? It's like, okay. So I wanna show you this mirror. I am obsessed with it. And this is the thing, you guys, like, this is what I talk about, about like, I, okay. This is my thing with furniture. It's really hard for me because even with finding like a, a, a fork to go in my house, it's like has to speak to me. It has to, that's the one, you know what I mean? It's like, when I know something, I know something. Like I, I can feel it, I see it, I'm like, that's it. We're, that's it. I got it. Like that's the thing with like with with certain designs that I do or whatever. Like I know it. You know what I mean? It's like it, it's it it, it feels like I it's like I feel it. You know what I mean? It's there. Like I don't have to think about it again. So it's the same thing with the with just decor for me. I let me tell you. So this is the thing. I did order. I ordered two couches for the living the formal living from CB2, which I really really love. I I think for like couches and stuff, I don't want them to be vintage. I want them to be new. It's just like, I don't know, depending on the situation, maybe like one like accent chair in like vintage would be cool. But I think couches, I just would rather prefer to have new. Um, so, and then when I was in the showroom at CB2, cause I was like looking at the couches, by the way, it was a good thing I went to the showroom because I was like gonna get the ones with the rolled arms, but I got another one, which was so much better. Um, so I saw they had like these coffee tables with, set up with it. And I was like, that actually looks really nice. Like actually it looks really, really nice. Like I really like that. And then like my friend, a friend of mine told me that that, look that is amazing. You have to get that, those, those, um, coffee tables too. The whole time I was thinking I never will ever, 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 ever buy something that is just there. Like in the showroom, give me that, do that. Like I, that is so disgusting to me. I hate it. It's like, there was no effort. It means nothing. It didn't speak to me. Someone else did it. Someone else put that together. Well, I don't want that. Someone else's like whole vibe in my house. Like I will do my house. You know what I mean? Like it, no, it, no, it wasn't it. Like it wasn't. Okay. And then like my mom too, she's like, Oh my God, I love the coffee tables. So I was like, wow, I like the coffee tables. My friend who has different vibe likes coffee tables. My mom likes coffee tables. They must be good that everyone likes coffee tables. So I ordered them whole time. I wasn't sure I ordered them or ordered them. And it was because it was like the 30% off thing for, um, for Black Friday, right? So I ordered them like, dude, like I knew, I, I the whole time like those coffee tables are wrong, they're wrong, they're wrong, they're wrong. And I've just been thinking about it. And then when we were moving things in, I put my iridescent. So I, the whole time I was thinking, cause my iridescent coffee table, it's like that, you know, the one from, was it last? I forget what it's called, from Italy. They, um, I never, I can't use that in like a casual room because it's very delicate. Like I've had to like be very, very careful with it because I don't want to scratch it. But then I didn't think it would look good in that living room with the couches I got. So I didn't know what, I, I don't know, whatever, it was a big thing. So I ended up just putting it in there and it looks so good in there. So I was like, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew those coffee tables were wrong. Like I would never ever in a million years just buy something just because it looks good in a showroom. Like, no, I don't, I cannot stand that's another thing too. Is like when I was going to like look at houses, you can see the way people like decorate or whatever. It's like, dude, you literally just like went to Z Gallery. You just went to like like Pottery Barn and just like bought, bought, bought. Like just like no effort. Like I just that's not me. I hate it. Like I I just for some people just like don't care or they just don't under like they don't whatever. That's what I'm talking about myself. 
talking about my damn self, talking about my damn self here. Like, stop. People get so offended. Like, I do that. I do that. Like, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about how I feel. Like, leave me the fuck alone. It bothers me. Like, I'm allowed to say what I like. Do you not understand that? Okay. So, um, anyway, I have to, like, get those coffee. I have to return those coffee tables, but they're already, like, what do I cancel the order? I don't know. I, I'm just going to, like, like take them back when they cut here. I don't know how to do it. So, um, anyway, and it's, like, such a good thing. Like, I, I the coffee tables I've got, the, the, the coffee tables are these, like, travertine coffee tables. Like, what was I thinking? I, do you guys think that I would do travertine coffee tables? It's so, like, boho. Like, what the fuck? I think I was panicking because, I like, I knew I had things to, like, de to decorate. And I, like, didn't have didn't have it done. You know what I mean? So I'm just, you guys, my vibe, I want like casino, ginger, seventies. Like I don't want travertine. Like that's not the vibe. I don't want, so anyway, I'm so happy I like caught that mistake because I am like, oh my God. So anyway, this mirror that I put above the fireplace is fucking epic. It's so perfect. Like I can't even. So let me show it to you. Um, actually I think I do let me do like a cover photo. I never get like cover photos. I always look like shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Um, let me just see. Okay. I just don't want you guys to like be able. Okay. There. Look at that fucking mirror. Okay. So it's vintage. I don't know. My eyebrows are fucked up. I don't know like where, what era it's, it looks very seventies to me. There are a few damages I'll show you, but I don't care. Like it's vintage and I'm, I, oh. okay, let me show you. There's like a little damage. This like fell off. I'm going to glue it. And then there was one right here too, but you can't tell. Um, So I really wanted to show you guys that. All right, then the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is, um, sorry, I'm just gonna walk like this, you can't see me now. Um, because I don't want you to see the whole house because I just, there's a fucking creep out there. Fucking creepers. Okay, let me- oh, Hi, it's me. Oh my God, I look so good that it hurt. Okay, um, so, oh, okay, I really hope I don't get fat again because I really just like, wanna stay like this. Um, yes, I can enjoy myself. Yes, I can, so you should too, shut up. Okay. So, um, this, let me just show you. Okay. I'm literally going to sit on the toilet and talk to you. So I really want you guys to understand the vibe before I go in on this. <sighs> Classes in session. I, I really don't like when I see, okay. So I follow, like, for example, I follow some, um, like old house Instagram sites, Instagram pages. Okay. And a lot of them look in San Francisco with like those old, Typical San Francisco, like 1800 style houses, okay? And the, some fucking idiots, okay? Who should be, you should be charged and arrested, okay? You fucking asshole, the nerve, the audacity of your dumb ass, okay? Who the fuck do you think you are? Went in and demolished the entire inside of that house to make it like the most typical basic ass bitch shit like, like, what's the fucking dumb shit? Like, some fucking, like, new home, new, like, farmhouse, modern farmhouse. And modern farmhouse, yay, modern farmhouse. I don't. Don't do it. If you want modern farmhouse, bitch, go do it to another house. Don't do it to an old house that's been there from the 18-something. It's not yours to do it to. Something's gonna happen to you later on. Something's gonna happen to you later on in life and you fucking have the nerve to tear it down completely. Gut. You should keep the charm of it. I understand having to tear shit down, but re rebuild it the way in its, in its original beauty and glory. That's what I think you should do. That's what I think you should do. If you don't do that, you're rude. You have no respect for history. You have no respect for anyone but your damn self. You're rude, okay? I think the people that do that to houses who have been like, with, this is like a part of like our history. It's, who the fuck are you to change it? I think it is so rude. Don't buy that house if you're not gonna keep the original look of it. There's something wrong with you to do that. I think there should be a law against it. Whoever buys my house, I bet you they're gonna tear it down. I really wish you wouldn't. Like, I really wish that wouldn't happen, you know? But, like, I, my house is, like, not a fucking 
house that you would see in San Francisco, like one of those ones from like 1830 or whatever, with like all those, the interest, I'm so pissed, you guys, if I showed you guys some of this stuff I follow on Instagram where they legitimately tear out the entire inside of these like Victorian style houses, I get it, it's not your vibe, then don't live there, you fucking asshole, pisses me off. Okay, I am done with that, I'm done with that. So, when I was touring this house, I like loved so much about it, I loved the little, oh. I was like, what is that? Water. Okay. So um, I was turning, I loved so many different little things about like 90s aspects of it. I was like, oh my God, it's like, there's so like, it can compa in comparison to like new houses, I just loved like the charms of like the past decades, right? Like just, just different charms of it. It's like, who am I to say, don't, don't live in this house. If you're going to completely gut the house, go live somewhere else. Like, why did you buy this house? If you're going to completely tear it down or gut it. Is something wrong with you? Were you like, masochist? Like, why? Bothers me, bothers me, bothers me. Okay. Okay, so here's the bathroom. When I was touring the bathroom, um, I saw these, I saw these cabinets and I was floored, absolutely floored. I was like, inspiration, done, we are done. This is it, this is what we, this bathroom is everything. I love every, okay, I don't like the, the faucets, whatever, but I don't really love the travertine. I'm not talking about that. I'm not gonna change anything, that's fine. I don't give a fuck, who cares? Fucking guess, downstairs bathroom. But I'm talking about these. I am not giving you a lecture right now. Okay, I am not, I'm sitting on the floor. I am not giving you a lecture right now because I feel like I have already told you guys, you, we already know the vibe, okay? I don't have the vocabulary to tell you the vibe. If you don't look at this and know exactly what I'm talking about right now, then I don't know where you've been. You have not been coming to class. You haven't been paying attention. I shouldn't have to explain to you what this is, okay? What is this? This is 90s first class Lufthansa vibes. Do you not see that? Do you not see the curve? Do you not see, and it needs to be like, it's kind of like falling so we need to screw it better. Um, but do you not, do you not see that? How that, there is a vibe there. There is a nineties first class Lufthansa vibe going on here. This is the look I will be carrying on throughout the, the house. This is it. Okay. I am so obsessed, like absolutely obsessed. Done. We're done. Like this is what we're doing. I'm not talking about, I like the color too actually, but I'm not doing this color. I'm talking about the style. Okay. Do you see? And if you saw it, wait, there, you can see the whole thing there. Fucking dead. Okay, let me get up now. <laughs> okay, so that was that. Um, I'm just really, okay. So, sorry, I'm like sitting in this room now and my house is a mess, I told you, because like we're just unpacking and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it for today. Um, I'm just doing random things around today. I'm filming. I was supposed to film earlier, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like the little vibes I showed you. Um, actually, do you want... No, I don't want to. I'm not going to. I'll show you next time. I was another... So they brought like the cabinet like example of the ones that they're going to like... Because they're copying basically the, the downstairs. So I wanted to show you them, but they brought them in white. And I, when you see them in white, it's like, no. Didn't we talk about how white is just like not it at all? Like, we're not doing white. Like... Who does white? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, white walls, yes, of course. But like, do you see my buffet? I, I'm just gonna say one more thing because I'm done with this. I'm, I'm to be honest, I am done. I, I feel like every, I feel like every single video I do from now on, I'm going to keep reminding you, just like with the top handles, we all know where the top handles originated from. Don't fuck with me, okay? Don't fuck with my top handles, bitch. I will fucking, if I see you in public, I'll fucking, don't. Um, I do not remember. Do you not remember? You do. You guys, you guys are on my team. Okay. My team, you know where we, when we got that, do you remember when we, that, that buffet, that Mastercraft buffet? I got that like six years ago, six years ago. Okay. I am so sick of everyone trying to be like, oh, 70, 70, 70s, bitch. Where did the 70s stuff come from? We knew, we know. There was, people were not doing the 70s. People were not obsessed with the 70s until I started being obsessed with the 70s. All of a sudden, everyone's obsessed with the 70s. Can, can a bitch get some fucking credit? Can a bitch get some fucking credit ever? Like, can we get some credit? I want, I want an award. I want a fucking award. I want, I want recognition for the top handles. You 
I want recognition. Actually, I should fucking sue so many of you motherfuckers out there. To be honest, don't, 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 because I know, don't, okay? Don't even, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me, okay? Don't fucking talk to me. Um, and the 70s thing, I've had enough, okay. I had enough today. I like, really I could go on this for hours, but we're not. <laughs> like we're not. Like we're really actually not because I don't I don't have I don't have like the space left in my soul to keep on this right now. Like I've just had enough. I'm gonna have like a brain aneurysm one time. I'm gonna like fall on the floor. If that happens, I really hope someone uploads a video to see to see the death of me because one day it probably will happen. But at least I'll have gone down doing what I love and talking to you guys. Okay, I'm really going now. I love you guys. Do not forget, do not forget about the stocking stuffers, okay? Uh, especially the Alex's ring. I think the Alex's ring, it, the, the big um, emerald, it's going really quick. You guys love, seem, seem to be loving that one the most, of course, because it's the best one. I mean, the heart is too much, so too fucking much. I love it's so fucking sick. Like, I see this and I was like, if I saw someone wearing that, I'd be like, I fucking hate you. It's the best thing in the world. <gasps> ah! Okay, love you guys. Bye.